Irene has space in my mind. Time to rewind things. Rewind things. Time, time to remind me. Time, time. Tissue fluids that will dilute the specimen. You can use either side of the filter paper for this procedure, but apply the blood drops to only one side of the paper. Yo, what's up? This is the Young Disciple, the Soldier, coming to you again live here on YouTube. And um, did you know that your DNA when you're born again can actually, in fact, be changed? And I had this revelation through much per persecution that the reason why they prick the heel of the baby is because supernaturally, the devil, he is looking for those that have the possible gene which could um, be linked to God himself because you have to remember back in the days of Noah they were messing with the DNA of man they were corrupting their DNA making them unredeemable so what do your genes really do like they make up everything that you are so God knows that that's what Satan is doing in this last hour he's trying to use this virus and this coronavirus to turn around and try to um, manipulate and play God. And that's what the devil wants to do. That's what Satan wants to do. He wants to play God because he said in his heart from the beginning, Satan wants to be like God. So he's out here trying to see who is the true um, people of God. And so, yes, in the beginning of every birth, the baby's heel is pricked, but yet it says that we know that the Bible tells us that there is a book of life and uh, our DNA is encoded in, in God knows every uh, hair of our head and he knows every molecule of our body. There's no nothing that he doesn't know. And so if you pause and read, you can also do that. But yet it's, it's ironic that in this time that I really realize is that um, the divine fusion of being born again makes it so that your DNA is able to receive the blood of Jesus, which cleanses is you and washes you and makes you new. Because when you're born into this world, you're born in a sinful nature. And that's why in California, they store every um, newborn baby DNA. But what are they really looking for? And they've been storing every single um DNA of every baby since 1983 and so if you were born in California after 1983 or on that year it is very likely that your DNA has been stored and um, when you were born they pricked your heel and in the Bible it said the serpent would bruise the heel of uh, the seed of the woman and where does a baby come from? It comes from the womb of the woman. And you're born into this matrix, which is this is the womb. This is the testing period of will you accept or will you deny God? Will you live a sinful, wicked life or will you turn from your sins? And so they collect bio samples from every child born in the state. And then this material is stored immediately in a state-run biobank. I couldn't make it up because that is what that is what it happens. For every single newborn baby, they store it into the biobank. Hmm. Interesting, right? True. It is. Don't don't lie. Because you know that the devil is out here trying to play God, but Satan, the Lord will strike you down. In Jesus' name. I hope you find that this is interesting. God kind of put on my heart. It's kind of early, so forgive me for, like, my voice sounding rough. But take the message and listen to the info. In Jesus' name, be blessed.